Esophageal rupture is a critical medical condition that requires immediate attention and thorough management. This condition is recognized as potentially life-threatening with various causes. While iatrogenic perforation is the most common cause, healthcare professionals must also consider other factors that can lead to esophageal damage. Borhave syndrome. Borhave syndrome is a specific type of esophageal injury involving a full thickness tear in the esophageal wall. This condition typically occurs after a sudden and significant increase in pressure within the esophagus. The most frequent trigger is intense, forceful vomiting, which generates enough pressure to rupture the esophageal wall. These tears are most often found in the lower part of the esophagus, particularly on the left side. Pathophysiology. When the esophagus ruptures, its contents leak into nearby areas such as the mediastinum, pleural cavity, and peritoneal space. This leakage sets off a series of severe complications. These may include necrotizing mediastinitis, an aggressive inflammation of the mediastinal area, pneumonitis, which affects the lungs, and peritonitis, involving the peritoneal cavity. In the most severe cases, systemic shock can occur, threatening the patient's overall stability. Clinical features. The symptoms of esophageal rupture are severe and varied. The most prominent symptom is intense pain, which is often felt in the chest, neck, and abdomen. This pain may radiate to the back and shoulders and is typically worsened by swallowing. Other symptoms include difficulty swallowing, trouble breathing, vomiting blood, and bluish discoloration of the skin due to poor oxygenation. During a physical exam, healthcare providers may notice signs such as abdominal rigidity, low blood pressure, fever, rapid heart rate, an increased breathing rate. Additional findings may include subcutaneous air in the neck, a crunching sound heard with a stethoscope, Hammond's crunch, and fluid buildup in the pleural space. Diagnosis. Diagnosing esophageal rupture requires prompt and thorough evaluation. If perforation is suspected, immediate surgical consultation is essential. Initial management focuses on stabilizing the patient addressing shock, and administering broad-spectrum antibiotics. Imaging is key to confirming the diagnosis. A contrast-enhanced CT scan of the neck and chest is the primary diagnostic tool. If the CT scan is inconclusive but clinical suspicion remains high, additional tests such as endoscopy or a contrast esophagogram may be performed. Treatment once esophageal rupture is confirmed, surgery is necessary. The choice of surgical approach depends on several factors, including the location and size of the perforation, as well as the patient's overall condition. Surgeons carefully evaluate these factors to determine the most appropriate treatment plan. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.